Oh, it's Ian Gary. Oh, fuck, I forgot. He's going to lose now. Here's Ian Gary. Oh, no, it's Jordan Williams. Wow, he looks white now. Jesus. Irish getting chinned. He is. Ch he looks chinny, doesn't he? <clears throat> I've always thought that about him. That's my one worry about him, is that, that he looks a bit chinny. And he's the only guy I've ever seen to undo laces on the foots of the uh, stairs here. <clears throat> Never seen someone just sit there before. Why did he undo his laces? He took the other one off. I think he's nervous. That reach is pathetic. I know. 74 inch for 6'3". I think he's 6'2". He's not really 6'3". He has got really short arms, though. Fight started, by the way. Sorry. 4'3'6". Four, 4'3'5". Three, four, three, Good inside leg kick. He gets tagged by a 1-2 from Williams. Moves around to the center of the cage. Good jab from Gary. Almost gets tagged again. Oh, good shots from Williams again. He might just beat Ian Gary. Ian Gary's not looking good. Ian Gary. I mean, I wasn't too high on Ian Gary anyway, but... <clears throat> Jordan Williams looking good. Good jab from Gary. He moves out the way of some shots. He's got a tiny head. Very tiny head. I guess that's how he makes the weight class. He's given up a lot of ground here whenever Williams moves forward. Definitely nervous. Moves out the way there. Scrambles. Single leg here from Jordan Williams. Gary's grappling is actually better than his stand-up, I think. <clears throat> at moments. Fighting for underhooks. Gary gets it. Turns Williams around. Williams gets out. Good, good grip strength. Gary turns it round. Williams turns him round. Against the cage again. Good stuff there from Gary. Good knee as well. Williams almost landed like a close range shot, but oh, landed in the forearm. No. Good knee to the fire there from Gary. Good knee upstairs from Gary. He's tall from here. Almost lands the knee to the face again. Boo! Good punch off the break from Gary. Ian Gary. Dude, Gary looks sloppy. I don't like this. Remember, Williams has dived. Oh, good switch kick to the head from Gary as Williams came in. Inside leg kick. He gets punched, but he lands a good inside leg kick. A lot of times people believe in certain things, but they keep to themselves. They don't put it out there. If you truly believe in it, if you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will become reality. I knew he would overextend. And I knew I'd catch him, so Mystic Max strikes again. Misses again. Head kick to the body. Right hand, he dropped him bad. He's hurt him, he's over. It's over, he's out cold. Perfect big back right hand counter. Holy shit, that was power right there. He took a while to get going, he looked nervous, but he got his range, made him miss, landed the perfect shot. First round KO, big right hand. Look at that, slip out of the way, set it up. Perfect right hand, piston, right on the chin. That's a tight right hand, that was a good shot. 23, making my UFC debut at MSG. It doesn't get bigger than this. We just shocked the world. The Irish are back, baby. <laughs> so, did it feel different? Tell me, I'm fighting the most historical venue in the world. McGregor, Ali, Mayweather, Pacquiao, everybody's far here. And then we and Gary's fought here. We did it, yo. You did it. Listen, Ian. Oof. Jason Stroud, Greg Jones. These guys took me in. My last fight, I fought for world title fight. A wise Irish man once said before me, he stepped in this very cage, and he said, we're not here to take part. We're here to take over. And this is the takeover part two. I mean, that's fucking a year's worth of promos right there. W interview. It was a good interview. I was a bit annoyed because he said um, something about, I don't know what he thought, the Irish are back. And I was thinking that nah, it was a bit too much similar, but he knows what he's doing. He's making it obvious that he's quoting McGregor. He can't just say, we're not here to take part, we're here to take over, you know? <laughs>